Hey guys, how's it going? Today we are going to try a really cool art supply and it is this beautiful rainbow pencil. Look at that. Isn't that really neat? Doesn't this take you back to the 90s, guys? All right, isn't it crazy that some of you guys probably weren't even born in the 90s? That makes me feel old. I have not used one of these since the 90s when I was a kid, and I was at Blix around Christmas, and they had these, so of course I had to get one, and we're gonna try it out. So I got my handy dandy sketchbook. We're gonna doodle it up and see what we make. I don't know what we're gonna do, but it sounds really fun. I know that Rin from Drawing with Waffles has done a similar video where she used a pencil that was similar to this. Hers was a little different, but I'm gonna credit her. So if you do want to see another rainbow pencil drawing video, I would recommend that you check her out as well. All right, fresh sketchbook page. Why don't we swatch this baby, huh? Let's swatch it. Ooh, we're really close and personal right now. It makes me a little nervous. Okay, how should we do this, guys? I guess just a couple lines. Ooh, Ooh look at that. It's like blue and yellow. All right, so I guess, ooh, got the reds going. So you can kind of control what color you want. Here's the yellow. Oh, 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 getting some green up in there. Whoopsies. All right, what's the other color? Oh, we gotta try blue. Okay. Ah, that's yellow. Ah, blue, hey, where are you at, boy? Well, blue is in there somewhere. Okay, now we're gonna try to do multicolored swatches. Oh my goodness. Oh, there's blue, there's some red. There's some green, there's some yellow. <laughs> That's so neat. Okay, I'm gonna write my name. How about it? Yellow, of course, okay. I will draw a flower. Okay. Well, that was fun. Oh, didn't dot my eye. Woo I'll do a little squiggly. <gasps> Guys, you know those like choker necklaces from the 90s? Okay, let me try to draw it. It's like, they look like this, kind of. You know what I'm talking about? Do you know what this is? Who here wore those in the 90s? You know those choker necklaces that kind of has that stretchy material? Comment down below. That is the comment of the day. Did you wear these in the 90s? Because I remember when I was a disgusting little kid, I had my rainbow choker on all the time. And most of the time it was actually just in my mouth because I was nervous and I wore it like everywhere I went. And we got Christmas pictures once and I was notorious for ruining my family's Christmas pictures every year. <laughs> I always did something obnoxious like cut my hair or eat potpourri and get cuts all over my face. But then I wore this rainbow choker that I loved. And my mom thought it was so ugly and I remember her telling me to take it off just for our Christmas pictures. And I don't think I did. <laughs> I think I left it on. I don't remember. I should look back and see if I'm wearing it. Oh, I should draw a cute little dinosaur. Okay, let's do this. I've been kind of in the mood to, oh, let's do it on this page. Okay. I have been in the mood to draw a cute little dinosaur lately. It would be so adorable to do this with a rainbow pencil. Oh, this is gonna be cute. It's really yellow. Why is yellow like the dominant color? Got his little mouth going. Oh, I should do a little rounded tooth. Oh, that's adorable. Okay. Oh, got some green. Oh, he needs a little nose hole. Little tail going. And he's kind of like a baby dinosaur, so we will make him sitting down. His head is really big compared to the rest of his body, maybe. I don't know. That's okay. Got a little pointed toe. Oh, that's a cute. Oh, I want him to have little spikes. Oh my goodness, it's like a little baby Godzilla now. <laughs> Blue spikes. Oh, oh, oh. Do we have some red working in here? Let me know down below, since we're talking about a lot of nostalgic things here in this video, with the whole 90s necklaces. Who here watched Godzilla as a kid? 
I played this game on the GameCube called Godzilla Destroy All Monsters Melee with my cousin and it was a really fun video game. I know this is like getting really nerdy here, but hey, that was my childhood and my cousin and I always had so much fun playing video games. We played it on the GameCube. <gasps> Another question of the day then, what was your favorite gaming system as a kid and what is your favorite gaming system now? So mine was definitely the GameCube because my cousin and I would play uh, that Godzilla game and we played Gauntlet Dark Legacy and they had Zelda, all that really cool stuff on there. I was too afraid to play Zelda so I watched other people play it. Really weird. That was me as a child, a little pacifist video game player until I played Gauntlet and Godzilla. And I really liked the Tony Hawk games on PlayStation 2, along with Dance Dance Revolution. Those were my games as a kid. Let me know your favorite video games as a kid. I would love to hear it. He ate so much food that he's like in misery now. So that's what's up. That's what's up right here. And uh, let, let me see if I can erase this line here. Oh yeah. Oh, this is cute. This is really cute. He kind of has some like steam coming out of his nose. Too far? Should I erase that? <laughs> I don't know. Open eye, closed eye. Let's play with it. Let's play with it and see. That's a closed eye. <laughs> sure. Oh my goodness, this is giving me dragon vibes from Shrek now. <laughs> this is fun. This pencil is so cool. I really like it. I decided to do just a little live video with you today. That way I can color and talk to you at the same time. Thought it would be kind of fun. I am kind of shocked that all these spikes are pretty much the same color. Trying not to rotate the pencil here. Have any of you guys used one of these rainbow pencils before? Let me know how you feel about them, if you have. This is a really cool way to sketch and have it feel exciting because you just get a bunch of random colors happening. Oh boy. If you ever so slightly rotate your pencil, you get a different color. And you can get a lot of different colors too, like hints of purple and everything. Okay, you know what? I don't... Wait, I forgot the arms. Okay, we're gonna do little nubs. This dinosaur has such a tiny body compared to its head and everything. Find the red to color in the heart. Yeah, oh, okay, fine. You wanna be blue? You can be blue. I'm gonna try sharpening this like a lot. Okay, we have a really, really sharp point to this. Now, let's see what happens. Can I really control what comes out now? Kinda hope it gives me less control and more surprise. I wanted the heart to say like bite me or love bites or something. Just for Valentine's Day, I thought it would be funny. But then I didn't want people to take it the wrong way because I'm married so like, you know, I'm very happy. I don't want to send out the wrong message. I'm not really a fan of Valentine's Day, to be honest, even though like I have a significant other. I'm just not like that kind of mushy that, I don't know. I know some people really like the holiday, so I won't bash it. We do go on dates though for it, so yeah. I will shade a little bit of the dino, just ever so lightly. This is so fun. I know this isn't a professional do big projects kind of art supply, but right now I am pretty much just de-stressing. That's why we're doing an easy, fun, lighthearted video today. Just kind of wanted to have no pressure. So I hope you guys don't mind. I hope you feel like you can join in and do some fun doodles. We'll be back to bigger art projects soon. I kept thinking about this pencil that I got because it's been on my desk for a while and I was a little stressed out earlier, so I grabbed it. And now I feel like really great about life because I'm just doing something fun like this. Should I do line art? Should I not? I don't know. I don't know. Oh, 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 getting some blue. Yeah, that's what I like to see. I'm just gonna press extra hard in certain areas for the line art since my pencil is sharpened now. Oh my goodness, <laughs> I love this. Okay, I think I'm gonna turn this heart into a little plush. Big eye here, little big eye here. Oh, look how cute.
This is so fun. I feel like if I ever so gradually rotate it as I color, it makes the effect really noticeable. Shade the stomach a little bit more. Cute little plump dinosaur. Shade under the arm a little bit. Shade the arm a little bit more. Outline the other claw. How cute! Maybe I'll do the spikes a little more too. This is like a mix of Godzilla meets Shrek. <laughs> Cause the dragon and the dinosaur, yeah. Kinda feel like it has like the dragon's head, but also kind of reminds me of a seahorse. Yeah, lots of weird things happening here. I'll do some cute little flowers, simple scenery, and just keep the background really simple. All right, here's my little dinosaur doodle with this cute little rainbow pencil. Oh, by the way, <laughs> look, price tag is still on it. It was only 99 cents at Blix. I'm sure there are some on Amazon, so I will try to find some for you and link them below in case anybody is curious, wants to try them. I try to link everything I use for the most part. All right, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you answer all my crazy questions because this video, <laughs> it was a weird one. We will be back with a bigger art project soon, but sometimes you just gotta doodle, you know? Like that little scribble. Okay, bye guys.